in this question we are given two complex numbers alpha and beta and we are also given that modulus of complex number beta is equal to 1 and we are to find the modulus of a complex number which is beta minus alpha whole divided by 1 minus alpha conjugate multiplied with beta we know that beta and alpha both are complex numbers so difference of two complex numbers is a complex number in this way beta minus alpha is a complex number again alpha conjugate conjugate of a complex number is also a complex number and beta is a complex number so alpha conjugate and beta is multiplication of two complex numbers so alpha conjugate into beta is a complex number now 1 minus a complex number 1 is a real number so 1 minus a complex number real minus a complex number is a complex number at last we can say that beta minus alpha divided by 1 minus alpha conjugate beta is nothing but division of two complex numbers so when a complex number is divided by another complex number the result is a complex number itself so in this way we can say that beta minus alpha whole divided by 1 minus alpha conjugate beta is a complex number now we know the property of complex number that square of modulus of a complex number is equal to multiplication of the complex number and its conjugate so we can use this property here we can write that square of the modulus of complex number beta minus alpha 1 minus alpha conjugate beta is equal to complex number beta minus alpha 1 minus alpha conjugate beta itself and its conjugate beta minus alpha 1 minus alpha conjugate beta now let us consider another property z1 z2 whole conjugate is equal to z1 conjugate and z2 conjugate what does this property say this property says that if you divide two complex numbers and then find the conjugate of their division or you first take their conjugates and then divide them the results are same okay so conjugate of division of two complex numbers is equal to division of their conjugates so using this property here right hand side of this equation will become beta minus alpha 1 minus alpha conjugate beta and beta minus alpha conjugate whole conjugate and conjugate of 1 minus alpha conjugate beta once again look at this property conjugate of difference of two complex number is just difference of their conjugates so using this property here the right hand side will become beta minus alpha 1 minus alpha conjugate beta it will become beta conjugate minus alpha conjugate now one conjugate one conjugate is one itself and conjugate of alpha conjugate beta now one conjugate yeah one can be considered as one plus zero iota or one minus iota and if you take conjugate of this complex number you will find one minus zero iota or one plus zero iota respectively so it is one itself so conjugate of one is one now once again we know that conjugate of a complex numbers conjugate is complex number itself 
we can explain it if we take a complex number a plus b iota its conjugate will be a minus b iota and once again conjugate of this in the complex number the result is 1 plus b iota again so in, you will say you you will find that alpha bar bar is alpha itself so right hand side can be written as beta minus alpha 1 minus alpha bar or alpha conjugate beta beta conjugate minus alpha conjugate 1 minus alpha and beta conjugate now we will apply simple algebra on expanding them we will get beta beta conjugate minus beta alpha conjugate minus alpha beta conjugate and minus minus plus so alpha alpha conjugate similarly the denominator will become 1 minus alpha beta conjugate minus alpha conjugate beta and again minus minus plus so we will get alpha alpha conjugate and beta beta conjugate now we are given that modulus of beta is equal to 1 and also we know that a complex number multiplied with its conjugate is equal to square of it, this complex number itself okay so using this property here here and here we will see that the right hand side of this equation will become beta modulus square it is beta alpha conjugate minus alpha beta conjugate and square of modulus of alpha square square of modulus of alpha sorry so it is 1 minus alpha beta conjugate minus alpha conjugate beta and then square of modulus of alpha and square of modulus of beta applying beta modulus of beta is equal to 1 here we will get numerator 1 minus beta alpha conjugate minus alpha beta conjugate plus square of modulus of alpha 1 minus alpha beta conjugate minus alpha conjugate beta plus alpha modulus square multiplied by 1 you see that both numerator and denominator are same so we can cancel them and final result is 1 so finally you will say that value of beta minus alpha whole divided by 1 minus alpha bar beta modulus is, is equal to 1 